everyone welcome back to my channel now last time we have already learned how to create a booklet and the cover uh, the, for the booklet right now uh, in this video we are going to talk about uh, about the book cover now here as you can see uh, if you want last time I've already t uh, talked about this one if you want the book cover in the uh, InDesign document and then you just want to show it to your friends your family or you, you just want uh, someone to you know check the spelling mistake and everything in the cover you can just uh, put it in the uh, uh, document right but then the problem is that you can't print it now I'll show you what I mean by that one right I have here is my document and I have kept somewhere right I'll just show you something now last time we have already talked about where in design booklet I think this one is it no 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 not this one one sec give me a second right um, yeah this one last time we have already talked about if you want to sh uh, show it to your friends you can uh, include the book cover in the uh, in design uh, in the in design right <clears throat> but if you want to print it you can print this one yes you can but if you want like say specific uh, document specific uh, say let's say um, uh, cover right specific uh, texture because there's a lots of different texture if you just want a plain cover or plain just a normal paper you just want to print it on their normal paper then include in the in design it, it doesn't matter right but if you want to print it separately because lots of uh, book publisher what they do is they uh, they they will write the book they don't include the book cover in the in design they will just make the book cover separate Let's talk less let's get in the book cover main design right now I'm gonna design this one right uh, I've already created this one right just to show you a few few things first thing if you look at here this one is your front cover okay I'll just zoom in a little bit okay that's too much okay this one is your front cover and this one is your back cover and this is what we call a spine okay now what is spine a spine is uh, like your human body spine uh, animal spine where it will uh, hold the all the book pages okay now how do you calculate the spine there's a lots of different website you can calculate the spine with so depending on the number of pages you can uh, use the calculator right but if you have say let's say uh, obviously and let's say there's a two types of book cover now one with the spine okay one without the spine that's obvious right now there's another type of cover which we call a like a uh, jacket or something like jacket yeah a jacket is something uh, which is like cover above cover book cover above cover okay you will see if you look around in your uh, room you will see lots of books which uh, inside it has a, just a plain let's say the never-ending road okay the ne never-ending road there's a there's just a plain uh, text only okay there's a no picture nothing but uh, but the jacket itself has a, all the pictures all the detail including there's a bleed like okay sorry like here th there will be more one one or uh, one pages okay one extra uh, small pages to, in, uh, to include the description of the uh, author or something like that right mm. but we are not going to talk about that jacket here okay we'll talk about only this one this book all right now how about uh, to calculate the spine you can go to your uh, Google and then uh, say uh, calculator spine calculator just type spine calculator any website will do. lots of there's a lot ton ton of website you can use the ton of website uh, there's free resources right now where did I download the picture now if you don't have you know a very good photographer friends or something you, you just want to use someone else photo you can go to pixabay 
ओके और पिक्सेल्स और दिस अनदर कॉल रिस्क रिस्क फ्लैश समथिंग लाइक दैट वन यू कैन विजिट देयर वेबसाइट डाउनलोड एनी फोटो फॉर फ्री okay for free you don't have to pay anything and then lots of photo uh, you can use it for commercial you can use for teaching okay okay now uh, i have already downloaded lots of pictures from the uh, website so i'll just show you phones where is a photo here here now um i'll show you one here if you can see here this one and another one here right so this one also here now i'm going to show you little bit i'm going to make a different book cover rather than you know just recreating something like this one right so let's go and make a book cover control n sorry this one is not doing something okay control n for new okay now remember how many pages do we need 1 2 3 three pages front cover for one pages for one front cover spine for one and the back cover three pages okay so remember number of pages we need three okay facing page we don't need the facing page turn it off now uh which uh, so page size do you want so it, it depends on your uh, book cover okay uh booklet sorry and so uh, right now i'm using a5 you can use uh, you know bigger uh, than a5 or a6 or a3 a4 whatever size you want okay now column uh, currently we don't want the column right margin just keep it low say um, 0.3125 uh, okay now bleed and slug if you are uh, you know publishing this booklet and then you are giving this uh, the, the book to print print it outside of your uh, home then just include the bleed otherwise if you are using your own printer and printing by your own self then uh, don't include the bleed right now i'm going to give the bleed say uh, 125 okay 0.125 okay inches slug we don't need a slug okay now click okay now you will see like this one go to pages now if you hover over and drag here it won't move right now because because uh, it has uh, the the tool says already created so right click on any pages right click on any pages here allow document pages to shuffle it has only already ticked it so it won't allow you to shuffle if you turn this off it will allow you to shuffle so just click once now click and drag click and drag see that's it this is your front cover this is your back cover this is spine now if you see the spine is very big i want it is to be small there's a, a feature in in design where pages tool okay so shift p okay click here now before uh, redu uh, reducing the size of the pages reduce the size of the margin Okay why am i saying this one because if you make the uh, pages smaller than oh sorry smaller than the uh, the margin then it will show you some uh, uh, message okay let's let's check okay now 0.5 how about 0.5 see the this page size does not fit with the current margin and column settings right so it will show you a um, uh, error right how do you uh, you know manage the, the change the uh the margin of the spine go to the edit oh no no, no. i think uh, something uh, yeah layout go to the layout sorry layout margin and columns click here now turn on the pre preview okay always turn on the preview now we want the top and the bottom just keep it keep it as it is we want the uh, inside to be smaller than uh, the Uh, top and bottom okay so let's say that's good okay 0.65 okay now let's create i'm creating 0.5 inches of the uh, the width or okay now if you have specific say 0.236 whatever if you uh, go to the google and then google spine calculator if you have 200 pages divide it by uh, some uh, numbers right Uh, any uh, that they they will you know give you exact number okay 
click OK. Now, now when I click OK, it is it snap or automatically. If it, it, do, it does not happen sometime, right? So what you will do is because go to up here. Can you see here? This is called reference point. Okay. If your reference point is somewhere here, and then if you click here, liquid page you rule, right? So control by parent here. If I click now, let's check again. 0 0.5. It is still going back. Now I am showing something um, which I five. Let's say let's say. Sorry. It is snapping something like that. Let, let's say we are uh, the, the pages um, the pages um, are moving here and there just uh, go to the uh, liquid page rule and control by parent and then the reference point is to be centered okay now look at here we have created already we have we are there now if you click W just to see the preview see back front and the spine now we are going to design a little bit uh, different than uh, the the cover right this this cover right now i'm gonna bring up my picture let's say this one oh but this one this one looks good right so i'll drag and then drop it here okay see now i want the cover to be cover uh including the spine also so there's a slug the red, uh, the the bleed, the red line is called bleed. If I click and drag, now here. Now you should notice something. There's a two. Uh, there's a bounding box. Now, whenever you place an object and text any uh, uh, thing in the InDesign, there's a box. So this one, this the picture is inside a box picture is itself are uh, uh, independently but the, there is a box bounding box so if you increase the box size it doesn't affect the picture if you increase the uh, picture it, it doesn't affect the box okay so remember that one so I'm gonna keep the box over here let's see if you want to uh, you know uh, drag and make the picture size and the box size at the same time if you want to increase at the same time just power over here hold the command or control key and then drag okay that's it hold w see now hold the command or co uh, control key see now what do you do sorry now we want a, a color over here right if you want to keep it as it is that's okay but it, it looks very dull right now <clears throat> let's let's use our color picker right if you go here if you go and say let's say let's say here oh I want a green here oh, I want a green here right I'll just draw a box here and then we are done right are we are we done all right say let's say green are we done it doesn't suit very well right so when this sort of things come you have to use the color picker not the uh, eyedropper tool not exact the uh, eyedropper tool if you if you hover over here yes it will work but the indesign has a neat feature it is called color theme if you just hover over here and then right click here it has a three tool measure tool eyedropper uh, tool and color theme we want the color theme okay now what will color theme do is it will collect the color where it is it is most used in this particular picture so I'll click anywhere just click once see you have a, a color theme here right okay now you, you can choose between here colorful bright dark deep muted right so I want say a little bit colorful okay now just over to your right side there's a plus button we say add this theme to swatches color okay click once done finished go back to your selection now let's talk a little bit about layers okay 
if you don't see the layers here go to the window and then you'll see a layers here just open that one here now what is layer layer is something like a sandwich uh, topping sandwich topping okay uh, the paper is sitting on the paper paper is sitting on the paper on above the paper right so that is called the layer very, very simple one right so let's let's assume I'll, I'll draw this box another box I want another box here right so let's make it this blue make this blue okay now can you see here this is called a layer now the blue color box is above the green color that is called layer if you want here you can see the uh, to your left uh, right side the layer can you see correctly see when I click the blue color there's a rectangle tool here it, it shows a uh, uh, some sort of uh, blue tick right if I click a green color it will show the underneath right if you want the green color above the blue just click hold it and then drag it above the uh, the blue color see that is called layer okay now why am I saying this because we want the box rectangle box here okay just how I click here drag we don't want a stroke we non stroke none okay now we want the color theme to be matched right and at the same time we want this a particular pages or page to be behind the picture so rectangle hold and drag beneath the picture see hold the W and then click here once now you can uh, go to the color fill go to last there's a color uh, the colorful theme which uh, which you have uh, taken from the picture now you can check from the here see which color you want right do you want this one do you want this one do you want this one okay now I think I'll just go with this color okay now another thing you can just um, use FX tool, tools or uh, what do you call it this one FX or um, VFX or whatever blending right so go to here you can just use transparency and then transparency drop shadow and glow basic feather if you go here basic feather right so you can do lots of things see if you click here gradient feather here see you can do lots of things right currently we are creating a simple yet a little bit you know uh, beautiful uh, book cover on it right so if you want the book uh, spine to be different color you can use the different color also now here we want this one we, we want double click here okay okay select the fill item sorry we can't change the name right now why why can I change not nothing right we can't change the name sorry okay now we can just lock this one lock layer one and create new layer now layer one is our picture P I C T U R pictures okay now layer two we'll call it text or title okay T I T L E title okay and then layer two layer three we say back okay very simple okay now we want a text over here now here I'll just drag click the title okay title click the title because we want the, uh, the the text to be in the title layer layer okay remember that one guys and we want to create here okay now what title should we give now let's you can use a chat GPT also you know <laughs> so we'll talk about that chat GPT about uh, chat GPT later on so don't worry that one uh, that's kind of advanced because we are just focusing on the basic all right so um, what should we call this one hmm. uh, let's say flying or whatever FL flying from the danger what about that one <laughs> I'm just 
laughing at myself you know now i want to increase the text size now remember command shift and greater than we have already learned this one in the previous lesson okay command shift greater than now if you see the green light uh, green um, uh, the green underline that means there's some mistake here mistake means some uh, here okay now we want to change the text style okay now click the text style now we want apple cherry we want mm. how about uh, robin this one right robin 131 bdbt is it good flying from the danger okay now we want to center it a line and at the same time we want to increase the text size also okay let's help it let's say this one okay and then uh, this one lighting also we want to increase a little bit okay over this one now the uh, color of the text is let's you know we can change that later on now control a paragraph style no the character style i want the paragraph style right so paragraph style click here and then this one is title ti and the title text text okay now let's see now we can use uh, say the edit text style here and then sorry um where's a strike to underline basic advance this one no um we can use here fix also right so i'll just click here mm, bevel and emboss here yeah. we want a bevel and emboss and uh, whatever screen here you can highlight screen multiply or you know hard light or whatever you want right so 75 opacity or whatever right so we want we'll click choose say green how about green and then multiply shadow by darken so just uh, you know play it alone right play it try it by yourself right we don't want a basic feather we want a direction feather yep top bottom let's say this will be no 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 i don't want the direction feather gradient feather how about gradient feather yeah. if you click here and then click here opacity should be say no i don't think so this one is not good text right Red and feather stain our stain multiply and then we'll say green color see now you can change the text color right we want the some sort of white okay white is good okay you can just our redefine style see if you click w Flying from from the danger! Wow. <laughs> just I'm just laughing at myself because I I did not think about any title, right? Now I'll just use uh, the uh, I'll write the name of the author W R I T T E and written by Jerry. <laughs> That's also good. Okay. Uh, I want in the center align text to be little bit size big and then pop in i have a pop in here if you want any uh, you know the um, you know the, the font you can download it for free yeah, just search it in the google and then you'll find it right so i want the medium right jerry y e uh, jerry okay now i'll just click double click here and then center it align now change the text color there's a blend mode also, but I did not see any blend mode. Okay. And where's my blend mode? I think there's a, there should be a blend mode. Oh, 
object style or something like that, right? Object. Wait a second. Effects. Okay, effects. I'll just use normal opacity object effect normal. I will multiply. See, you can play around, right? See now, this good. Darken. I will darken now. Hue. So darken is good. Looks no. uh, lighten. That's yeah, also good. So knock out the group or you can isolate blending or let's not do that that one. That one also mm, color. Nah. Luminosity. Yes, that's good. So you can use the another transparency here also. Gradient feather stain here also. So you can do lots of things. Just go to the effects and then do that one also. The blue, good. Now another one for the medial here spine for the spine, right? Text. I'll just uh, write F L Y. Increase the size. It's a bit F L Y I the flying from the angel. Angel, right? And then. We'll use a tap and then say uh, Jerry or by Jerry. Jerry. Okay. Now you can uh, you know type on path. That's on the different uh, lesson. Let's not get on in that one. Mm -hmm. You can just rotate it by hovering at the, uh, any corner and then just rotate it while rotating hold the shift key okay because it will uh, uh, what should I call it will rotate in that put, um, uh, angle at certain degree okay so I want to decrease the little bit size also not too much not too little right okay and then we want to color this to be in the white. You can just double click here, click W, and then this advantage by visually, okay? Now, by visually, sorry, that's good. That's good, see? Okay, now you can place uh, your, you know, uh, say introduction or summary of the book or any any text here, right? So I'll just grab the text tool here. I just fill it with the placeholder. Okay, so placeholder is nothing but just a uh, text for the this, this is this text. You can grab it. Any, anyone can grab it right for free <laughs> uh, say let's white put it white and at the same time we want this to be a little bit different right so just click here uh, paragraph rules rules on and with ok now click ok now let's check here that look see you can just uh, again, go to again. Paragraph border or paragraph rules. Sorry, not this one. Paragraph border. Paragraph shading. Shading on. See, shading is good. Okay. Now, if you click here and change the text to black, black. Sorry. Yeah. Good. That's good. That looks good, right? So I'll just click here. Okay. Now. I'll drop down this one. Um, drop cap. Where is the drop cap? Leave spacing. Drop cap here. Two line. Okay, one character. Mm -hmm. We can just you know do it more. Say let's say mm, a drop cap character a line. Two character, three character, three uh, three lines, one character, 
and okay see and then you can include your uh, not uh, any sort of you know the address the your location or QR code or barcode any anything here okay that's it now we have ordered great now you can just click here go to layers and then if you uh, click here layer here just go place it in at the back right just lock the front okay now you can't do anything right now because we have all locked that one at the layer that's it and if you have a PSD you can include the PSD and then just adjust the text uh, the, uh, the uh, you can do it in your Photoshop and then uh, do do any changes save it and then it will appear in the, your InDesign let's say I'll show you here all right because um, let's say I have a picture here and then if you click on the link it has already link here JPG and then PSD right that means I have used a PSD also at the same time I've used the JPG also and then if I make any changes in the PSD and then save it it will show me warning like yellow sign here right it, it means that something has changed you want to update it just double click here it will update it automatically so same like that one so how did I make this QR code you can scan that one this one is scannable okay go to the uh, object generate QR code you can t uh, write any anything so I'll say P L E A S please subscribe subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel guys <laughs> okay you can use a color also say blue color how blue color and then just drag it see scan it you will find it uh, the, the same text or okay you can create multiple uh, QR code so the, here type plain text you can use also web link in the text message email business card you can use different sort of things right so you can write your name organization and then place it here if someone you know scan the QR code they will you know directly uh, see your uh, all the detail like first name title every phone number right so if email so email write it email subject and then write it if someone scan it then it will go the to the email address if you have uh, any website just place it here it will show you here right so uh, currently I'm not using any uh, internet connection so that's why I'm not gonna show that one so that's it so if you if you like what I'm doing and if you want to support me please do subscribe that will help me a lot to to come up with a new you know uh, video and if you have any question you can ask me in the comments I'll try my best to give the answer and at the same time I'm uh, then the definitely I'll, I'll try to make a different sort of video you now uh, I've ordered I've always you know think that education should be free right and then I did my best to include lots of video like uh, in the pairing formats in the booklet in the I, I, I try my best right so and later on I'll make a video you know uh, for alternative for the InDesign alternative for the Photoshop I've already made one video right but I'm gonna make another video which shows you another uh, sort of products right for free sometime uh, one paid once and the use for your lifetime and then there's a uh, data merge okay so if you like what I'm doing and if you think uh, this video is informative and then you get some sort of education please do subscribe that's it and then until then see you next time thank you